Welcome back to CrossFit Sugar. I'm Jake Dupree, and this is a 10 minute ab workout with a ball. So just find yourself some space and let's do this. All right, to get started, lie down on your back, grab the ball, place it between your knees, take those hands behind your head, down to the floor. Now tap the elbows up toward the ball. Lift it up and down. The very first Pop Sugar video I ever did was a 10 minute ab workout video, and it's just become so popular. So we just decided, let's do it again. <laughs> just eight years later. Yes, lift and lower. Good, up and down. Now every time you curl up, squeeze in on that ball. Getting those inner thighs working, connecting into your lower abs with those inner thighs. Up and down, five more. Up and down, four more. Lift and lower, squeeze in. In three, two more, squeeze, squeeze, two. Last one, hold it up right there. Now touch the elbow up to the ball, side to side. Tap and tap, really squeeze in on that ball. Try to pop it for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five, a four, three, two, and one. Keep the feet up, hands go down to the floor. Now touch the toes and lift. Down to the mat, then lift it up. Working that lower abs, we'll do some more just like this in a little bit, but with the ball in a different position. Because with me, you always have a ball. Uh -huh, down and up, you got it in five. Lower back to the floor, in four. Good, good, in three. Squeeze in on that ball a little bit, two. Last one, last one, hold it up. Now poke your toes forward and forward. Poke and poke, lower belly, belly button really pulled in for 10, in nine, in eight, seven, six, in five, four, three, two, hold it there. Lift the shoulders, lift the head, arms reach forward. Now pump those arms nice and big, squeezing in on that ball. Now take those legs out straight, squeeze in on that ball. You got it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, a four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, grab the ball with your hands, lift the shoulders, lift the head, now arms and legs go out to in. You got it, out, shoulders off the floor, five, that's it, in four, you got it, in three, two more, two more, two, hold it out right there, now tiny, tap the ball to the thighs and back, tap the ball to the thighs and back, in five, you got it, in four, Yes, yes, in three, two more, two more, two. Last one, last one, lower down. Grab that ball, take it underneath your back. Yes, so take it right underneath the booty. Feet are hip width apart. Glue the legs together now, hands beside you. Lift those legs up, now touch the toes down to the floor. And lift, really targeting the lower abs right here. I love having the ball underneath that booty because it really helps your lower back release. So there's no tension in your lower back, yes. You could just be here for days. Can't you just see it? In four, three more, three more, three, two more, two more, two. Last one, last one. Legs go straight up to the ceiling. Flex those feet, now lower the legs, taking it down, down, point and lift. Lift, flex it down. Remember, lower belly button pulls down. Yes, lift and lift, flex it down, down, point and lift, and lift. Two more, down, down, lift it up and up. Last one, down and down, you got it, up and up, bend the knees, now poke your toes straight forward. Poke and poke, pull the belly button down. I always like to say in my classes sometimes, imagine that you're poking someone right in front of you. I don't know why you'd be on the floor poking someone in front of you, but here we are, let's go. You never know what kind of situation you'll be in. Four, five, and four, and three, two, and one. Feet to the floor, lift the booty, grab that ball, place it back between your thighs. Hands behind your head, now pull those elbows and the knees together, then down, good. Lift and lower, you got it. Crunch and lift, good. Chin stays away from your chest, you got it in five. All the way up in four, yes, in three. Two more, two more, two. Last one, hold it there, grab the ball, legs go up straight, drop the left leg down, ball behind the knee. Now curl it up, do not touch your thigh with that ball, don't do it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, a uh, four, three, two, other side, you got it, curl it up, curl it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, a uh, four, a uh, three, you're gonna hate me in two, uh, hold it there, now switch the legs, taking the ball between the thighs, hello coordination, for 10, 10, in nine, nine, shoulders up in eight, eight, you got it in seven, Seven, good, six, six, a uh, five it, a uh, five it, a uh, four, a uh, four, a uh, three, three, two, 
two, one, and a one. Lower down. All right, taking that ball back underneath the booty. Yes, yes, you got it. Legs go straight up to the ceiling. Belly button draws in. Now draw a big circle with the legs. Lower down, lift it up. Yes, big old circle. You got it. That's it, that's it. Draw that belly button down. Uh-huh. Now reverse it, take it down, circle it out. What a concept to reverse it. Yes, I really, really invented the wheel again. Or should I say the ball again? <laughs> uh-huh, three more, down. And up two more, down. All the way around. Yes, last one. Good, hold it there, bend the knees in. Now poke it forward yet again for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, a four, a three, a two, and a one. Both feet down, grab the ball, rock and sit up. Place that ball behind your lower back. Feet are hip width apart, hands out in front of you, palms up, now taking it back. Here we go, tap behind the ears, then forward, drawing that semicircle. Forward and back, you got it. Forward and back, yeah. Really pull that belly button in, you said five. You go four, there it is in three. Two more, two more, two. Hold it back right there, hands behind the head. Now pulse it, 10, nine, that's it. And eight, seven, six, a five, a four, three, two, and a one. Take a second, grab that ball, replace it underneath that lower back. Yes, you'll do the same thing. Hands go out, you'll take it back, back and forward. This time, lift the right knee up and down. Left knee and up, foot comes up, yes. Foot comes up, taking it back, up and back. Let's go, up and back if it's burning, it's working. Yes, three more sets just like this, a three. Let's go in a three, two more sets, two and two. Last set, last set, one. And one, hold it back, now pulse it back. Keeping those elbows wide, four, 10, you got it. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five. A four, three, two, and a one. Oh, it burns, I love it. All right, coming down onto the floor. Bringing that ball into the hands. Take the ball onto your right knee. Take the left elbow onto the ball. Both hands behind the head, now squeeze in. Try to pop it between the elbow and the knee for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Other side, yes, you're gonna love where this is going, yes. Right elbow onto that left knee, squeeze in with the elbow and the knee for 10, nine, eight, seven, you got it, and six, five, four, 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 three, Two and a one, take a second. Oh yes, now here's the part you're gonna love. Lift the feet up, take the ball onto that left knee, or the right knee, left elbow on the ball. Now you'll switch it to the other side, reaching the opposite leg out, but keeping that ball between the elbow and the knee. Hello, coordination. You cannot move very quick with this one. Just keep it going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and a one, it burns, yes. All right, keeping that ball. Rock and sit up, take that ball behind you, fingertips behind those ears. Now you'll twist it side, then back, taking it side and back. Really getting those obliques. You're so welcome, you're gonna love me tomorrow. But that belly button is gonna be pulled in, it's gonna be snatched, I love it. Lift and twist, good, twist and back. You got it for 10, in nine, in eight, don't stop, in seven, in six, there's five. Come on, in four. You go in three, there's two. Last one, taking that ball between the thighs. Arms and legs go nice and long out, keeping that ball between the thighs. Arms above the head, you'll roll all the way up, squeezing in on that ball. Lift, uh-huh, and lower. Very simple right here, but don't worry, it's gonna get real cute. And by cute, I mean complicated. Yes, taking it back. If you cannot roll all the way up, just come up as high as you can, don't worry. We'll get up there in a second. You got it in three, let's go. In two more. Last one, last one, all the way up. Hold it right there. Hands back behind you, bring the feet together. Now reach the legs out and in. Pulling that ball into the chest, leaning back, reaching those legs nice and out, squeezing in on that ball. In five, in four, there's three, there's two. 
Last one, hold it there, do not move. Now squeeze in on your ball for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Coming down onto the back again, keeping that ball between your thighs. Legs straight up, the hands down beside you. Now take the legs to the right, circle it down or around and all the way up. Now to the left, down or around and all the way up. Two more each side, right. You got it. To the left. Oh yes. Last one, last one to the right. Last one to the left, that's it. Hold it up right there. Now touch those hands up to the feet. Touch, this is the last thing that you're doing. Try to touch those feet for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and a one. Woo! All right, you'll lose your ball to the side. Whoa, look at it, it disappeared. Bring the legs back behind you. Hands go down right beside the rib cage, elbows up. Inhale, lift the upper body up, nice and long with the spine. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, roll it down. Last one, inhale, press it up. Exhale, roll it down. Take the booty back, child's pose. Rolling it all the way up, and you're done. One viewer left a comment and said, what is your favorite lower ab exercise? For me, I love to lie down on the floor, hands down beside me, legs straight up, flex my feet, lower them down, point and lift up, flex it down, point and lift up. All you have to do is worry about keeping your belly button pulled down and your lower back pressed against the floor. Very, very important. And only lower your legs so much that you can keep your lower back down. Yes? And if you have any more questions, don't forget to comment them down below. Thank you so much for working out with me. I'll see you back at Class at Sugar very soon. Bye.